during my takeoff and landing in my previous videos a lot of you heard this sound and quite a number of you ask what is it some of you ask what is that popping sound some of you ask if it's the stick shaker and some of you ask what is that machine gun popping sound you hear in the background that is the elevator electric trim how it works is after I rotate and I achieve a pitch attitude that is consistent with my climb out rate the aircraft itself wants to keep pitching up in order to prevent that I have to apply forward physical force to the rudder to prevent the aircraft from continue pitching up that is a lot of force to relieve that force and the amount of pressure I have to apply I press this trim button here forward and it pushes the nose down until it takes less forward pressure for me to keep that nose down during landing when I've configured the aircraft completely that is my landing gear is done and my flaps are extended fully the nose of the aircraft also wants to pitch down indefinitely to prevent that I have to apply physical back force to the yoke to relieve the amount of control pressure I have to apply to the yoke I use the trim here to give me a nose up trim this way I have to apply less physical pressure to the yoke to maintain my nose down attitude so how do I know if I am too forward trim or too off trim well on the right side of, of the screen you will notice there is a gauge that gauge goes where where it says a ft that is off and where it says forward that is forward trim and this needle here move consistent with what i am telling the aircraft i wanted to do now you're probably asking yourself well what happens if the electric trim fails well falcon has thought of that of that also in the center console here there is it's in you know there is a red lever here and next to that there is a circuit breaker when the circuit breaker here pops that's our first indication that the elevator electric trim has failed we will also get an indication on the engine instrument display otherwise known as the EID it's gonna be like a yellowish brownish message indicating that the electric trim has failed once that happened I will then use this lever right here to control the trim of the aircraft now I want to be clear this is only the elevator trim this is not the rudder trim nor is it the aileron trim so every time you hear this sound that is me adjusting the elevator trim to maintain the nose attitude whether it's a pitch up attitude or a pitch down attitude to remain consistent with the descent angle published on the approach charts or the departure chart okay now I'm going to show you guys what exactly am I moving what flight control am I moving on the outside of the aircraft when I'm pressing when I'm pressing the trim button let's go take a look at that this is the flight this is the flight control surface that I am moving when I'm trimming the aircraft on Falcons the entire elevator moves on some aircraft there is a small cutout called a trim tab Falcon didn't do that on their aircraft and if you notice those one two three four lines there that lets me know what trim position the aircraft is in it's something i checked during my pre-flight and during my post-flight
All right, guys, uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys find it interesting, educational, and entertaining. If you guys have any questions or anything you would like me to cover in future videos, leave it in the comment section below. And for those of you who have commented, thank you. For those of you who are new subscribers, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. And I do try to respond to every single comment. Talk to you guys in, in the next one.